We begin tonight with an absolutely heartbreaking update to that Gilbert crash that we first told you about last night. We have since learned the 22 year old man and infant who died are the son and granddaughter of Pinal County Sheriff Mark Lamb. Also, the baby girl's mother is still fighting for her life tonight, while the driver who crashed into that family is now behind bars. Our Luz Delia Caballero has spent the evening at the crash site near Wrecker and Elliott and Gilbert, where there's a growing memorial. Another quiet night, many too emotional to speak, just thinking about the lives lost here. You can see candles, stuffed animals and flowers people left behind to honor Cooper Lamb and his baby girl. Morrison Ranch is a really tight community and anytime there's a loss of any kind, it's, you know, it's, it affects everybody. Krista Nail and her kids didn't know 22 year old Cooper Lamb or his one year old daughter, but they wanted to pay their respects. Stopped and got some poinsettias for the family and a card. We just we wrote some notes to the family. Hopefully they get it. She says Friday is a day she will never forget. As we saw on the ground, it's terrible. Police say Cooper, his fiance, and their baby were in a red car. The baby's mother, Caroline, was driving. Investigators say their car was turning left when a pickup truck slammed into it. Cooper's fiance was rushed to the hospital in critical condition. Cooper and their little girl didn't make it. But I can't even imagine losing a child and to have two from a family. And especially around Christmas. All afternoon Saturday, people stopped by, leaving stuffed animals and flowers to honor the father and daughter. And just to show that we care and the community cares. Sheriff Lamb reacting to the support on social media, writing in part, we are truly humbled and touched by the outpouring of love from our family and friends slash community. We cannot thank you enough. Our hearts are broken, but we are comforted in your love and the love of God and Jesus Christ. We are praying for our precious Caroline, who is still in critical condition. Condition. Police say the driver of the truck was not hurt, but was arrested on suspicion of being impaired. And here at the scene, you'll notice these three ribbons. A woman who knows the family put them up around the tree. This white one, she tells us, represents peace. Peace she hopes the family finds during this difficult time. This blue one honoring the life of Cooper and the pink one honoring the life of his baby girl. Reporting in Gilbert, Lustelia Caballero, ABC 15, Arizona. Just unimaginable. A reaction is pouring in from state leaders tonight, including Arizona's U.S. Senators, Governor Doug Ducey and Governor-elect Katie Hobbs. So many sending their thoughts and prayers to Sheriff Lamb and his family, as well as Caroline and her family. Senator Cinema writing, all of Arizona is sending our love, strength and condolences in this unimaginable time.